What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video and to the channel. So for this video, I got some important news for you guys that's a little bit disappointing. Some of you may not like, but if you guys have been following me on Instagram, you guys already are aware of this, but, but I am planning to sell the F30, um, which I have behind me here because I'm gonna be working on it in this video. But yeah, I have officially decided I am going to let go of the F30 simply because I do not have the desire to continue doing any more mods to the car. I am ready for my next build, which is gonna be a lot more exciting, a lot cooler, and I'm just ready for the next thing. And I'd rather not spend any more money on this build. Sorry to disappoint those of you who subscribed and want to see F30 content, but this will most likely be the last video with the F30, unfortunately. So I am just gonna have my E90 as my only car. It's gonna go back to how it was before I got the F30 um, until I find my next build, which could take a while, like a few months, maybe not until next year. Um, but I wanna have you know everything ready for my next build. I wanna have this car gone, have some the money I make from this car ready for the next build so I can put it towards that. So yeah, that is the plan. Now before I actually list the car for sale, uh, I am going to be taking all of the mods off of the car that I have put on the F30 over the last almost three years now. Uh, I'm going to keep a few mods on the car, but most of the mods are going to be coming off. Now some of you may be wondering why I am going to be taking all the mods off and why don't I just sell the car with all the mods on the car. Well, one is because I don't want to sell it to someone with all the mods on the car and then have someone just pretty much driving around with my build that I built, you know. Um, I'd rather someone buy the car stock and then they put their mods on it that is different than mine So they create their own unique build that's unique to them and their tastes and two Just because I have mods on the car doesn't necessarily mean the value of the car increases The value technically just stays the same as if it were stock So I'd rather just sell the car stock and then sell the parts individually to get some extra money So yeah in this video, I'm pretty much just gonna be deconstructing the F30 taking everything off Like I said most of the mods and putting all of these stock parts back on the car since I did keep all of my stock parts Specifically for this moment for when I was ready to sell the car So yeah, that's pretty much what's going to be happening in this video Just pretty much vlogging and showing you guys the whole process and be taking off Everything I have put on this car over the past three years and I'm honestly not really excited to be doing all this One because it is kind of sad to see all the stuff I put on it coming back off and all the stock parts going back on and two It is really hot. It has been really hot for the past like two three weeks in the southwest I'm in SoCal, so it's not like the hottest area like Arizona or Texas, but it has still been really hot like in the 80s, 90s at the highest, like 90 degrees at the highest. So yeah, I'm not really excited, but it needs to be done. So without wasting any more time here, let's get started. <laughs>
so it has been about five hours and I am finally done removing all of the mods, the parts that I put on the F30. As you guys can see, it is pretty taken apart here. Um, if you look over here, you guys can see all of the parts that were on the F30. I literally took everything off, so like the, the front grills, the headlights, the hood, you can see over there the GTS hood, uh, the tail lights, the spoiler, the mirror caps, the side skirts, the diffuser, you guys can see all that down there. And I even took the intake off and then the countless downpipe. So yeah, everything is off of the car now and it's kind of sad to see. Uh, going back to the stock form all the work I've done over the last what almost three years now is gone just like that all of it is now on the floor here so yeah at this point now I'm gonna go ahead and put all of these stock parts back onto the car So it has been about two weeks now since I filmed the first part of this video where I removed all of the uh, mods and put all of the stock parts back onto the car. So now the F30 is officially back to its stock form with all of these stock parts back onto the car. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So taking a look at the front end of the car, you guys can see the factory headlights are back on the car along with the original grills that were on the car when I first bought it, just these gloss black single slat grills. In addition, the front lip is gone, obviously, and the GTS hood. In addition, the 437M wheels. In addition to the forged carbon mirror caps and turn signals, the stock mirror caps and turn signals are back on. The side skirts are now gone. The rear extensions are gone. The Clearlands LCI taillights are gone. The forced carbon diffuser is gone, though I still have the forged carbon exhaust tips because I kind of messed up with how I installed these. I got the wrong size, so I had them weld like another pipe on there, so now I can't just easily put the original tips back on. In addition, the forged carbon CA style spoiler lip that I had on the trunk is now gone. You guys can see the outline that is left or was left from the very first like original spoiler that came on the car when I bought it. I removed it and this was left so this is a pretty ugly defect um, without like a spoiler lip. The forged carbon one that I had just covered it so you didn't really see anything but I am going to be fixing this and I'll get into more details about that in a little bit here. But continuing on um, I think that's everything for the exterior but going inside went ahead and put the original M Sport steering wheel back on. I took off all of the carbon fiber 
overlays that were on the trim pieces, the silver trim pieces here. In addition, I took off the carbon fiber gear shift knob piece, the e-brake handle, the color, the red colored buttons here, in addition to the start stop button. Um, I took out the Apple CarPlay, even though I just put that on like a month, less than a month ago. Um, let's see what else. I also took off the, let me see, I'm open the hood here. So yeah, I took off uh, the intake. As you guys can see, the CTS turbo intake and the CTS turbo catalyst downpipe, which you can't really see, but um, I did leave the CTS turbo charge pipe and inter intercooler on. Uh, I just decided to keep uh, the charge pipe on since the original charge pipe like broke when I installed this one. So might as well just keep this one on and the next owner will probably just end up putting an, an aftermarket one on anyway. So I figured I'd just give them this one along with the intercooler since whoever gets it most likely will want to tune it. So they'll have a couple bolt-ons already on the car when they get it. So that's two less parts they have to worry about. Um, so I think that's it for the engine. Oh, I did remove the, uh, the boot mode tune. I flashed the car back to the stock tune that it saves for you and relocked the DMV. So yeah, for performance, it is back in its stock form with its stock power output. Um, so yeah, I believe that that is everything. Those are all of the parts that I put back in the car. But like I said, I did leave a few of the mods, like the charge pipe, the intercooler. In addition, I also left the exhaust tips on the rear. I think I'm just going to sell the, sell them with the car, and then they, I'll give them the stock exhaust tips that I kept. I have all of my stock parts. I'll just give that to the new owner with the car, in addition to the resonator. This car does still have a resonator delete. I did not put the resonator back on. Uh, but I don't think I am. I think I'm just going to leave it off and then give the resonator to the new owner if they want to put it back on the can or not and then the last thing are the uh, lime green brake calibers since I can't really take that off I painted them on so I would have to like do a whole process to remove the paint but I think I'm just gonna keep them on since they look pretty clean as is so the new owner will get to have lime green brake calibers and they can paint them if they want to a different color. Now some of you may notice that the car is still sitting pretty low and that's because I still have the BC Racing coilovers on the car. I am not going to remove those. I am just going to keep those on the car for the new owner. But yeah, I believe those are all the parts that I just kept on the car since it would be too much of a hassle to remove. Um, so yeah, everything else is back to stock like I showed you. So now that the car is pretty much back to stock, uh, there's one more thing. I do want to do before I offer the car for sale and that is like I mentioned earlier I am going to have the trunk repainted to get rid of the this spoiler outline here I'm really not sure how this got here but it's there and it will not come off so I'm just gonna have them repaint the whole thing just to make it look clean uh, for the new owner because I'm pretty sure they won't like that um, in addition, I am also going to have the front bumper repainted because there are a few defects on the front bumper. Um, I've mentioned it before, but there's a little, little defect right there from when I rear-ended someone, um, like when I first got the car. Uh, it was a very ridiculous like situation, but I just, I just, I didn't fix it because it was very small and minor and not really noticeable, but. I am going to be fixing this and getting, like I said, the whole bumper repainted uh, because there's also some defects down there and on the bottom of the bumper. And I just want to give the new owner a clean, fresh front bumper repaint, you know, so it looks really clean and, you know, won't bother them with all those little defects. So, yeah, uh, after I get those repainted, the trunk and then the front bumper, I am finally going to be offering the car for sale. I am going to clean it a bit obviously to make it look nice because this car still is in pretty good condition I'd say for being what almost 10 years old now. I did a lot already to get it looking a lot nicer than when I first bought it because for those of you who've been there since the beginning of when I first got this car you guys saw all of the defects this car had. It was not in good shape. I got this car looking pretty clean and in much better shape than it was in when I first got it. So yeah, I'll be dropping the car off at the shop today actually. 
and it's going to take like a few days, three or four days to get everything done. So I will get back with you guys once I have the car back with a fresh new front bumper repaint and trunk repaint. Alright, so I have the F30 back now from the paint shop with a freshly repainted front bumper and trunk. So yeah, the F30 is looking pretty clean now, even just in its stock form. And I'll show you guys up close here. So, taking a look, a freshly repainted front bumper. Looks super clean with zero defects, no rock chips or scratches or anything. Looks spotless. And remember, there was the dent right here, and that is no longer there. Looks nice and clean all along the front bumper here. It did just rain, so that's why it looks wet and looks like there's some water drops on the bumper. And then going to the rear end here to the trunk. You guys can see the trunk also looks really clean and spotless with no defects whatsoever. Remember the really bad outline here from the spoiler. It's no longer there. Pretty much just looks like a brand new trunk. So yeah, the F30 looks that much better now. So at this point now, the car is officially for sale. I have listed it on like Facebook Marketplace and like OfferUp and even on my Instagram. If any of you guys follow me there, I don't need it sold like right now. Um, I have plenty of time, uh, so I'm not in a rush to sell this thing. I mean, I would like to have it sold at least by the end of the year, but I think it'll sell before then. So yeah, guys, um, this is most likely the last uh, time, last video with the F30. Um, you can see the U90 right there. And it's just gonna be the U90 going forward here for a little while until I get my next build which will be another BMW, as I mentioned already. So don't worry, we are sticking with BMWs. You know I gotta stick with BMWs. Now I'm not gonna say which BMW I'm gonna get next. I do want to do sort of a reveal. I don't wanna just give it away off the bat here, but I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys could guess what it could be, but I'm not gonna say I will do a reveal video when that day comes. So this car has been awesome to own over the last three years and 20,000 miles. I've had tons of fun with this car, with you know modifying it cosmetically and all the performance mods I experimented with. As you guys know, I just tuned the car to about 400 wheel horsepower with a few bolt-ons and some E30. And for me, that was plenty of power, especially coming from my 328i. I had uh, tons of fun. Like, I honestly don't think I need much more power than that. Maybe like 500, 600 at most. Anything more, I just feel like it's dangerous at that point and I just probably wouldn't have any fun. Um, but for me, I like to keep, you know, a balance between power and, you know, reliability so that I can daily the car if I wanted to. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this car 100% to any of you guys out there who are watching this video and are thinking about it or who have a 320i and want to experiment with a turbocharged BMW. This is the perfect car for that. You'll learn quite a bit about you know how the turbocharged inline six engines are with BMW uh, with this car I feel like it's not as scary as like if you were to get like an E90 335i because of you know the N54 notorious for being very unreliable and not for people who don't have much experience with you know working on engines and working on cars in general and stuff this car I think is more comfortable and you're less likely to experience issues so it's a, a really good beginner car a learner's car to like introduce you to having a turbocharged car or turbocharged bmw so i can't say that i am really that sad to be letting it go since i really didn't develop that much of an attachment to this car Unlike my E90, I have a pretty strong attachment to that car. So sorry to those of you who subscribed for F30 content, but it is time for me to move on. But I think you'll be fine because there's plenty of other YouTube channels out there that have F30 content since this is a pretty popular car among the BMW community. 
So, I mean, you'll be able to find more content out there on YouTube somewhere, I know for a fact. But yeah, unfortunately, for me personally, no more F30 content, going back to U90 content and whatever other next BMW I get. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much it. Those are my uh, final thoughts and everything about this car. But I am very excited for what's to come with a new build and new content to show you guys. So I will get back with you guys when I have a buyer that has decided that they are going to buy the car. All right, you guys, so it has been about two weeks and I have finally sold the F30. So it is no longer with me. It is with its new owner. So you guys can see, I just have the 90 behind me and no more F30 parked back there in the corner or anywhere around me here. I am back to just having my E90, at least for the meantime, until I get my next build, my next car that I am super excited to show you guys. Um, how long it's gonna take, I'm unsure. It may take like a month, it may take like six months, you know, it just depends. I have not found a car yet, but I know what car I want. Uh, it's just a matter of just finding one with all the specs I want, the mileage, the condition, the year and everything. For me, it needs to be perfect and have everything that I want because I am planning to keep that car for a very long time. But yeah, anyway, back to the F30. Uh, it did take about a month almost to finally find someone to buy it. Uh, for those of you who you know have sold a car on Marketplace, on Facebook Marketplace or like the Let Go app, um, if you guys know how annoying it is trying to sell a car or anything on those sites with you know people just being unreasonable and annoying and just kind of wasting your time but after a month I was able to find a person who's reasonable and is understanding of the car and the whole process and everything so hopefully I blessed that person with the F30 and they have just as much fun as I did with it so yeah that is it no more F30 content from here on out. I'm honestly not really sad at all. I know for some people it's kind of sad letting go of a car that you modified, but honestly I didn't really have that big of an attachment to the F30 like I do with the U90 here behind me. The day I sell that car I will probably cry, uh, which I don't do often, but, but yeah, if I ever sell this car I probably will because this is the car that I really have an attachment towards. But now I'll have some videos just on the E90, which I know a lot of you guys probably wanted to see more of since um, I was really focusing on the F30 since there was a lot to do, but the E90, I still have some stuff I want to do to it, so look out for more videos coming soon with the E90 until I get my next build. All right, so I think that's it, guys. I'm not gonna drag this video on that much longer. I know it's already been a pretty long video. So as usual, thank you guys for watching. As always, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more content if you liked what you saw and if you want to see what I got coming soon here for my next build it's going to be really exciting I know all of you guys are going to love it but yeah anyway I'll see you guys in the next video